Hey everybody, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, and today is a special occasion. It is the 50th SAS video posted to YouTube, so it's going to be a two-parter. I'm down in Spotsylvania County at Steak and Shake on Route 17 South. Uh, it's near, uh, there's a Target near here, and in fact, it's very nearby uh, the Sonic where I did my very first uh, SAS video review. Um, I saw this place when I was coming back from Sonic last time and kind of regretted not stopping for a review. And apparently, you know, it's a pretty interesting place. When I was inside, they had, uh, you know, a counter. Everybody was dressed in, you know, the bow ties and aprons. It's kind of like a Johnny Rockets in that sort of way. But they claim that their burger is made of some kind of chopped steak or something like that. So we'll see how that, um, you know, comes out in the final product. Apparently, they're open 24 hours. That's a good thing as well. They've got a drive through and a dine-in portion. Okay, so today, of course, the last burger I got was a Hardee's Ultimate Grilled Cheese Burger. Today, I've decided to get a comparison to that with the Steak and Shake. This thing is called the 3D Cheese Burger, and it's stuck to the thing. There's so much cheese on there, and it's very sloppy and greasy. Now, instead of having the Frisco bread, like the grilled cheese cheeseburger had at um, Hardee's, this is on an actual hamburger bun that's turned inside out. And apparently, it's got some kind of uh, you know special sauce type junk on there that's making that bun really, really soggy. And the bun is buttered as well, which, as you can see, is really coming off on my hands. I also got their fries just because it came with them, but I'm not very excited about those at the moment. They look kind of weak. I don't like very thin, crispy fries, just like I don't like very thin, crispy pizza crust. All right, so let me stop babbling, pick this bad boy up, and you get a real close-up as I try to get it away from the paper. There you are. Basically, it's uh, two pieces, or more than two pieces of cheese, but two types of cheese. There's pepper jack, and it's either American or cheddar. I don't know. I'll hopefully be able to tell you that in a minute. I've actually got it upside down for presentation, I suppose. It should be like that because the sauce is on the bottom. Okay, so you take a look at the bag while I take a bite. That's a very good homemade tasting burger. Uh, it's extremely greasy. I, I think I'm going to regret this later on, either by breaking out or, I don't know, gaining like five pounds directly after eating this thing. Um, I also, let me go ahead and take a quick taste of the fry. Mm. Back to the burger, though. Very juicy, extremely cheesy. Holy crap. Way, way tons of cheese. That's not even a proper sentence. I'm stunned by the amount of cheese. But, you know, of all the burgers I've had here over the past few months with the SAS on the road series, I would say this one ranks in the top three somewhere. Uh, it's definitely better than that Hardee's burger. So, you know, if I have my choice, I'm going to take a couple extra exits, you know, down here and actually hit uh, Spotsylvania Fredericksburg area and get the 3D grilled cheeseburger. But with 770 whopping calories and 400 something of fat calories, I don't think I'll be doing that very often. With that being said, I'm getting ready for part two. Let me give you my rating here. I would say not thumbs in the middle, not three quarter thumbs up. This some bitch is a thumbs up. If there's a little bit, uh, less greasy. It might even be more than a thumbs up, which rarely ever happens. Anyway, this is Brandon from the SAS. Stay tuned for part two. It's coming up right after this.